<laughs> at the wedding reception. Why do they do that? Hey, good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, good day, uno, dos, dos, day, dos. Photo bomb! What's up everybody? It's your girl Miss Mo. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl coming back at you one more again with another video. I am live direct and in living color and in full effect. You know how I do. Okay, this show is going to be about why in the world I'm old school, I'm old fashioned, whatever. Why in the world do brides, bridesmaids, the groom and the groomsmen. Why do they do a dance <laughs> at the wedding reception? Why do they do that? Well, if you want to stick around and see what I have to say about all that, please keep on watching. Okay, as I was saying, why do they do a dance at the wedding, at the reception, not at the wedding, but at the reception? the bride and the bridesmaids. Then you have the groom and the groomsmen at some receptions. This is what they do. I will, you know, have links in the description box below so you can see what I'm talking about. And I will probably play a little bit of different types of videos so you can see what I'm talking about. So you're at the wedding reception and you have your bride and she'll get either the whole wedding party or a few of her bridesmaids and they will do a dance and sometimes you have the bride she will do a dance by herself and while they're dancing of course the groom is sitting right there in the front in you know in his, in his own seat so he can of course have a first you know be right there in the center so he can see everything because all eyes and attention it's supposed to be on the bride because she's dancing for her husband, right? <laughs> then flip side, you have the groom and his groomsmen. You know, you have the bride, same thing, sitting front and center so she can see everything. All eyes and attention are supposed to be on the groom dancing for his wife. Okay. My thing is, I want to know who who started all this? You know, traditionally, you got the reception, you know, you have the best man, he gets up, makes a toast. You have the maid of honor, she gets up, makes a toast. Then everybody dances, you, you know, the bride and the groom, they cut the wedding cake, and then you have the DJ, and then you have anybody else that wants to get up to say a few words and do a toast to the bride and the groom. Then you have the mother dance, then you have the father dance, you know, the bride and the groom, they each dance with, you know, their mother or their father or whatever, which is always a sad part of the whole reception, but it's a beautiful thing. I love it. And then they always choose a tearjerker song to dance to with their parents. So my thing is, when each of these people are dancing, in my opinion, the bride or the groom, I don't think it's a good idea for the simple fact they are dancing very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Provocative, yes, that's it. They're dancing very provocative. Of course, you know, it's gonna be their wedding night, you know, and nine times out of 10, they've been intimate with each other already. So it's nothing new that, you know, is gonna be happening that night. <laughs> so all that aside, all eyes are looking at the dancer, it being the bride or the groom. But I really don't think it's a good idea. And I will tell you why I do not think it's a good idea and I don't agree with it because that is supposed to be for your spouse's eyes only the very uh, pro provocative dancing that usually happens at this time that's my opinion 
And another reason why I don't think it's a good idea is because, like I said, all eyes are on you as you are dancing for your spouse. Then you got all of these people with their nasty minds and thoughts while you're doing what you're doing. Granted, you don't even have to be dancing provocative. You could be standing up, holding up a brick wall and people will have the same nasty thoughts and ideas about who they're looking at. It don't even matter. However, you're, you're giving them more and you're painting them more of a picture when you are dancing very provocatively for your spouse. And you know, I just don't agree with it. I think it's nasty. Like I said, that is supposed to be for your spouse's eyes only. Not everybody else to be looking at you, imagining, ooh, I know he gonna do that good, or ooh, I know she gonna be doing that. No, that's nasty. And shame on everybody else when they're looking at the bride and the groom dancing. Shame on you for thinking that way because that is totally nasty. But, you know, everybody's putting it out there for you and the bride and the groom to see. So, you know, to each his own. That, that's the bottom line. But, you know, I got an opinion. Why can't I have an opinion just like everybody else? I just don't agree with it. Oh, but wait a second. <laughs> wait a second. Okay, here we go. So, you know, you got your bride and your bridesmaids dancing and then you have your groom and your groomsmen dancing. Okay. So here it is. If you're going to do it, come correct and do it right. Even though I don't agree with it, but if you're going to do it, come correct and do it right. Meaning, if you're the bride, if you would like for your whole wedding party to take part in this reception dance for, you know, the groom, for your husband, make sure they can dance. Make sure they can, you know, at least do a two-step. Make sure they can, you know, they're, they're beat worthy. They stay on beat. If they don't, I suggest to you that you just take the couple, two and few that can do what's expected of them because I have seen, no, I have seen a few videos where these people barely know how to dance. <laughs> And I mean barely know how to dance. It's like, if you're gonna do it, do it right. Same for the men. If you're gonna do it, make sure your boys is up to par. Make sure they know what to do, how to move, you know, the, the certain dance moves. Now granted, who all can dance, you know, then you're talking about the level of difficulty as far as a, you know, dance routine, the choreography, if you will. So, you know, you gotta keep all this in mind. If you gonna do it, do it right. Don't be trying to, <laughs> don't be trying to do every dance move from the dance videos. Don't do it. Stick to what you know. Don't be trying to be all like that because you know, it's already been done. So just keep it simple. Simplicity is the name of the game here. So like I said, if your whole wedding party can dance and if you have faith, if you choose a simple, you know, routine, great, go for it. If not, then, you know, you'll probably have some people getting mad at you because you want to pick the best of what you have there that won't make you look bad because, you know, that's part of it. <laughs> you have people that are going to make you look bad bad if they don't know how to move, which way to move, what to do, the routine, if they came to rehearsal. <laughs> I can't. That's the gist. If you're going to do it, do it right. Because like I said, I don't agree with it at all because they have all these roving eyes. You know, you have all these people thinking whatever they're thinking and you can't sit here and try to tell me that ain't nobody thinking thoughts that they ain't supposed to be thinking while the groom and the bride are dancing for each other. I'm sorry. No, no, and no. Let me know what you think. Please 
comment below. I really want to know what you think about this. If you think, you know, ah, she don't know what she's talking about. She too, she old, whatever. You know, she's out of touch with the times and all of that. Let me know if that's what you think. But if you think that I am right spot on, let me know. Let's think about it. You know, you have to leave a lot, I believe, to the imagination. It ain't for everybody to be looking at you, what you gonna be doing to your husband or your wife. It ain't their business. And another thing I forgot to add, all those moves and provocative dancing that's going on, somebody, mark my words, somebody is gonna be trying to get at you. Meaning, somebody gonna be trying to get at the groom or the bride to see Oh, let me see how good they do these moves. <laughs> because they look, they can see how well you move. Or if not, if you don't move well, they, they gonna wanna they gonna wanna see. They gonna wanna try to uh what is it? They're gonna try to sample the goods. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, y'all might not want to hear it when you know I'm telling you the truth. All right, that's it. Don't forget to like, comment, share this video, and above all, subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next video. And like I always say, let's talk.